I've been in the Berkeley family for 15 years, mostly teaching. We've been involved in other design projects, mostly small, and then uh, of recent, the largest expansion project that, that they've ever undertaken, which is of course underway right now. So when tapped to be involved in, in the Valencia project, uh, we were very excited to do it. It was very exciting. I studied architecture, I know Calatrava. It was a mecca for me to come here and see all these buildings. The projects are different. Berkeley Boston has a very robust and enriched MP&E program. That's not the main thrust here at Valencia, this is a master's program, so the studios are more um, tools. After distilling that, the actual physical reality of the facilities are similar, and I think one of the goals of the programming that we had to do and that we, were, we participated in was to actually make sure that they are, are very similar. We're in a different country. I don't only mean uh, language and customs and, and, and traditions, but specifically for us, construction techniques. We had to adjust to some realities about how things are going to get built here. That's a challenge, but that's fun. The design went through a few phases. We started with schematics, we created different layouts. When a scheme got signed off, we went to construction documents, and those were the documents with engineering and architectural documents and systems drawings. All that package was priced, uh, and then from that we moved on to the next step, which was construction, and started about two or three months ago. First demoing the existing space in started with now the construction which in fact at this time they're installing the floating floors, they're building up the rooms. I'm impressed. I'm actually quite overwhelmed and very, very uh, encouraged on a personal note. I, the relationship between the cultural center and Berkeley is going to be sensational. Berkeley gets an instant campus including parks, iconic buildings, the music center, the cultural center gets a school which is of course at the heart and soul of any cultural center, so I think the relationship is sensational. In the United States right now, the city with the largest student population is Boston. You know, one of the world's most famous jazz schools is now positioned in Valencia, has to have a huge impact. Well, our goal is, for, for schools always been twofold. They have to be comfortable, they have to work as educational tools to make sure that they house the right number of students, certain creature comfort, but they have to be world-class in nature. So any student walking into any one of these studios soon immediately recognize that not only are they in a teaching environment, but they're in a world-class studio environment. It means that any guest that comes to use the studios, demonstrate the studios, record in the studios, feels at home on a world-class level. Most of the school projects that we work on, we try to try to introduce a pretty high standard of design. I would like to think that when a student goes out of these rooms that they felt that they operated in a world-class commercial facility and that they could find themselves in a commercial facility and not be uncomfortable. Not all schools do that. It's absolutely inspiring if you work in a basement with no windows and try to make a piece of art. It's different to work in a studio that you and look out and see this wonderful space. I would like to just say thanks to Berkeley. I, whenever I get a chance to say thank you to Berkeley, I'm saying I teach in a lot of schools, and if I have to give one school, that, that's the school. The standards of excellence are, are very, very high. It's a pleasure, but it's also a privilege to work with Berkeley. A challenge at times. Thanks, or gracias.